Hello YouTube, this Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real Hard Sickers Aquatic Kennels. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between trimexiclus and pyrotrimexiclus. Now the reason why is simple. People for years have been asking me this question. And I don't think that I've really truly answered it in video format. Now before I begin, I would like to state that the fish on the left side of the divider are my good friend Kenny's Trimex signals. And on the right side is a male pyro he purchased from me. Now before I dive even further into this topic, I would like for you to direct your attention to the description area beneath this video where you will find links to purchase books and other Real Hard Sickness merchandise. In addition, there's a link to my other YouTube channel, The Ambassador for Aquatic Life, where we discuss all things aquatic and all things hobby related. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell, which will alert you to new videos published. And in an effort to be transparent as possible, all links are paid affiliate. Therefore, this channel do receive small proceeds which help with the continuous making of video content. Let's start with the origins of this species. The Trimex cichlids are native to Central America. They are found in the Pacific Slope rivers from Mexico to El Salvador. In addition, they can be found in creeks and lagoons. This species is widespread throughout Central America waterways. Which begs the question, how many different habitat variations of this cichlid can be found due to speciation and adaptation? These are some of the questions that will be answered in this video. So that we gain a greater understanding of the difference between the pyro and your typical trimex species. Okay, let's start with what we all learned over the years watching my YouTube videos. And if you haven't watched my videos or subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so that you will have a greater understanding of the topic at hand. So let's get into a little bit of science behind this question. takes evolution a number of years for a species of any sort to evolve in a way that is suitable for its new environment. But with cichlids, those years evolving is shortened due to their genetic makeup. You see, cichlids can evolve and adapt in a generation due to their environmental changes. For example, if you take a trimix cichlid from a lake and place it in a river, Due to environmental changes, their genetic composition can change and alter their physical appearance. So the answer to the question of how many different variations of trimester cichlids are they? It's simple. As many as how many different collection points or locations that you can find them in. Now I want to make this very clear. Cichlid species never, ever stop evolving due to environmental changes. If you place them in an aquarium, they're going to evolve and adapt to that aquarium environment. So that begs my next question. How many new variants of this species? This is where the pyrotrimac cichlid come into play. You see, I've been breeding trimac cichlids since the 80s, and I have woven a number of trimex species from different collection points into their gene pool. So in a nutshell, the difference between the pyro and your more common trimex cichlids is decades of breeding this particular bloodline and doing so creating a super trimex lineage with a physical pedigree certificate documenting the different DNA spliced into this gene pool. 
What a family tree. I have always stated documentation beats conversation all day long. And with that said, this skip. I'm out.